Rancho Cucamonga residents will start to notice exciting new developments within the city due to an annexation planning on conserving the foothills and bringing in new businesses. Here's Madison Perry with more. I'm Madison Perry and I'm here with Candace Burnett talking about the Northeastern Annexation Project. So Candace, can you tell me a little about this project? Yeah, it's a project of approximately 4,100 acres um, located just generally north of the city's uh, city limit. And it's um, a project that combines not only a proposed development area, but an area of conservation as well. This is really a very important project to the city that really the effort of this project is to make it a priority to conserve the foothills of our community. Um, and by doing that, we really have to create that economic benefit to preserve it of the foothills. And how you do that is you have to create development where development makes sense. In this case, the development it needs to be adjacent to where we already have public services. And those public services are the roadway systems and connections to existing infrastructure. And so we really are trying to create smart development where, where it's logical. And that's where we already have existing community connections. And then by doing that, we can then conserve the remainder of the foothills where we should be preserving the pristine um, area of conservation. The boundaries of this area are generally north of um, Banyan, um, east of Haven Avenue, all the way to our city limits with the city of Fontana, and south of the National Forest boundary line. So it encompasses our entire sphere of influence, um, and it's approximately 4,100 acres. The project has been a joint partnership between the City of Rancho Cucamonga and the San Bernardino County with the idea that the area of land that's outside the city limits but still within the city's sphere of influence would officially become a part of the city. Overall, Rancho Cucamonga is looking to designate almost 3,000 foothill acres as conservation priority without taxing residents. So if it stays within the county of San Bernardino, it's governed under the county's general plan, whereas the city proposes to do a new specific plan that would govern the land development of this area. And therefore, the city can ensure that it's developed with the highest quality development standards. And also, as part of that specific plan, we can also ensure that the rest of the sphere of influence area that's annexed into the territory would be then conserved um, for that conservation purpose. And what types of development will take place through this project? It's a combination of t intensities of residential development from the lowest intensity of one to three dwelling units an acre, all the way up to a mix of um, higher density residential in the core of the center town with um, small shopping plazas, including restaurant pads and um, retail components. And then the largest portion of the 3,100 acres would be conservation. The annexation requires zoning and land use be identified as a part of the annexation process. The proposed zoning provides for a mix of residential, retail, commercial, and public uses, encouraging the community to get outdoors and stay active. So our next steps is doing the environmental review process. We're releasing an EIR, and so as part of that process, we're holding public scoping pro hearings as well as releasing draft documents. And it's an opportunity for the public to become involved with the process. And also we'll be working through the draft document of the specific plan. Four community meetings regarding this proposed annexation and conservation of the land are being held in October and November, with dates and times available on the city's website. Updates and information on the Northeastern Sphere Annexation Project is and will be available at www.cityofrc.us forward slash N-E-S-A-P and via social media posts. So make sure to keep an eye out for the future development of this project. To learn more, visit the city's website or keep up with their social media accounts. Thanks for watching this episode of RC Spotlight. I'm Madison Perry.